Hi guys, so for today's message, we are going to be getting some messages from your ancestors that they want you to hear and know at this time. So we have three piles here today. One, two, three. Take a moment to get in touch with your intuition and your higher self and pick the pile that you feel most drawn to. Thank you all so much for the support you sh show me on this channel or on my other channel with the likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. If you guys enjoy my poetry, you can find a link for Dee's story time in the description box below. So if you hear a poem you want to hear again in this reading, you can find it on that channel. And thank you as well to everybody who purchases or makes donations. You can find my Cash App, PayPal, and Amazon wish list in the description box below if you'd like to do that. As well as my email information and my Skype information. Thank you guys so much for all the support you send me in whatever way that it happens to be. And I truly appreciate each and every one of you for that. Also, thank you to our ancestors as well for helping to facilitate this message and bringing out the messages that everyone needs to hear and helping us to be able to find them when we need to hear them. Let's get started with pile one. For pile one, what messages do your ancestors have for you right now that they want you to hear and focus on? The fee. Faceless shadows all around. No real safe flat ground. Calling out till my voice is hoarse. Every single step a force. A force of will so strong. Traveling this road for so long. Never going to give up this fight. No end to this war yet in sight. One day soon I know I'll be free. Darkness takes a toll. We all pay a fee. The cost of the wisdom to set us free. So, in order to gain our freedom, in order to break the chains, in order to rise above, and in order to move forward, sometimes we have to go through a lot of pain, hurt, hardship, despair, a lot of darkness. There is a lot that you've been going through, and it's felt like it's never ending. It has felt like the whole world is against you, and everything in it is against you. There's so much darkness, it's hard to see at times. But focus on that beautiful ball of light and hope. Focus on the good things that are around you in this time. Have gratitude for the beauty in your life and the amazing things that are coming together in such a beautiful way. Sometimes we don't notice how much we have to be grateful for until it is taken away from us. So remember to always be grateful for the things that you do have to be grateful for, even when everything is not going to the best that it could be at this time. We have the Page of Cups. It's time to really look in the mirror, to look within, to understand yourself, and to heal some of the things that have damaged your heart and the love that you feel for yourself and for the world around you. It's time to try to love and to see the world from a place before the scars. It's time to try to look for the light in the darkness, to adopt a more childlike mindset when it comes to dealing with the pain, hurt, and hardship around you. To really go, the sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow there'll be sun. So stick out your chin and grin and say. That's basically the gist of it. You can sit in that energy of, it's a hard knock life for us. It's a hard knock life for us. Or you can turn around and go, tomorrow there might be sun. Right now it's gray and lonely and hurtful and painful. But tomorrow there could really be something beautiful so today I'm going to look at myself and I'm going to see the worth and the value and the love that I need to see within so that I can manifest that without. Oh, I love that the magician came out right when I'm talking about manifesting. If you want to manifest in admissions of love, if you want to manifest in apologies and reconciliations, then sometimes you have to take that first step yourself. You have all the skills, all the tools, all the things that you need within your disposal to be able to create and manifest the reality that you see as reality. You can manifest beauty in front of you from the beauty that is inside of you. And sometimes it is so hard to see that beauty that is inside of you when all it feels like is darkness and despair, when it feels like there's a black void inside of us that we can't escape. 
joy, rejoicing in the present moment, finding joy in that present moment, finding peace and happiness wherever you go. Those things are not outside of yourself. Those things are within you. So even when you have the most horrible of circumstances that you're mired in, you can still find that happiness and that joy and that light because it's all inside of you. Or we can sacrifice that. We can give our power away and we can throw out all of our joy, all of our happiness, all of our light, and we can just fall into that void of misery. Which one do you want to be doing? Scrying and intuition. You have the ability to be able to master your spiritual gifts and abilities, to be able to see what's coming, to be able to prepare yourself mentally for what's in front of you. You have the ability to be able to locate, to be able to locate yourself and others. And also to be able to pinpoint your own energy and what belongs to other people. So remember to, um, <clears throat> when you start feeling a certain way and it feels like this is not my energy and this is not who I am and this is not, not what I want to be, remember to push that energy out and call back your own energy and to protect your energy. You may want to do a bit more um, protection, cleansing, shielding type of things in your daily routines and practices. And also remember that you can contact and communicate with the ones that you love on the other side as well. You don't need outside help for that. Last quarter moon in Taurus, be proud of yourself. Last quarter moon in Aries, walk, work through your feelings. So it is time to work through your feelings once again to find the root core and cause of the pain, the hurt, the misery, the despair, and the sadness that you may feel. It's time to work through that to understand what happened and how it happened and why it made you feel the way that you did and why you might be feeling the way that you are now because I feel like a lot of you, the way that you're feeling in this current moment is very connected to past feelings and situations that you have gone through. Also, take a minute to be proud of yourself, to congratulate yourself, to pat yourself on the back for being able to love the way that you do, for being able to have as much joy inside of you as you do, for being able to be in a very youthful energy a lot of times when it comes to things, for being able to express your love and believe in love even after everything that you have gone through and even after all the pain and misery and hurt and hardship that you've endured. Really be proud of yourself. Be proud of the work you've put in. Be proud of your stubbornness. Be proud of your um, ability to stand up for what you believe in and what you believe is right as well. <laughs> Know that that is not an easy feat. It takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of bravery. It takes a lot of boldness and daring to really step into your power and to be who you really are, regardless of what this world wants or how hard and harsh this world can appear to be at times. Your ancestors definitely want you to recognize yourself more, love yourself more, look in the mirror and see everything that you've been through and everything you've faced and how you have overcome so much and how you've really been able to master a lot of things. You may not be where you want to be right now, but you are definitely at a very high level, a high level that deserves recognition and deserves love. So love yourself, recognize yourself and congratulate yourself for where you are right now and know that you don't need to be anything more than you are right now to be worthy of love, abundance, beauty, and peace in your life. <clears throat> so that's what I have for this pile. I really hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I would love to hear what you guys had to say about it in the description box below. I feel like a lot of you, this could actually be like a cousin or a grandparent as well that is coming through very strongly here, especially grandmother energy. And uh, thank you all for your support in whatever way you send it this way, whether it be liking, sharing, commenting, or subscribing, or donating. You can find my Cash App, PayPal, and Amazon wish list in the description box below if you wanted to be able to do that, or making purchases. And you can find all the information for that down there as well. Thank you for that. And I really hope you guys enjoy these readings and get something from them. They are all energy healing sessions as well. 
And so it should really help you to shift and heal the energies that you have within you. Anyway, thank you for that. And I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are, when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys. Pile two. For you guys, let's see what your ancestors have to say to you, what they want you to focus on, what they want you to see at this current time, what they want to congratulate you on for some of you as well. I feel like there's definitely a congratulations energy going on here, possibly from a grandfather or a father. A love that is true. I deserve a love that's true. No longer feeling blue. My soul longs for someone real. One who has the nuts to seal the deal. Ready for someone to step up. I have learned how to fill my own cup. So many things left unsaid. All the tears that have been shed. No more sitting on a shelf. Time to truly love myself. <laughs> Claiming abundance that rains down on me. Prayers are answered for all to see. So if you guys enjoyed this poem or any of my poems, you can find them on Dee's Storytime. There's a link in the description box below. <clears throat> if you want to be able to find poems again, it would be awesome if you could go over there, like, share, comment, subscribe. Really helps me out. So your ancestors want you to know that you deserve a love that's true, something that's real. S it's time for you to step out of this sadness energy, this loss energy, this pain energy. And it's time for you to accept that you deserve something real, something true, something beautiful, something deep, something that is not shallow. You deserve to be with somebody who actually has the nuts to be able to seal the deal. Somebody who actually wants to put in the work, the effort, the time, and the energy to create something with you. Somebody who wants to work on communication with you. Somebody who wants to be there for you. Somebody who wants to be true and real when it comes to you. Queen of Pentacles, the Three of Wands. So you have worked long and hard to manifest something. You've put in a lot of time, effort, attention to detail. You've been working very hard. You are a very abundant, fertile, beautiful energy. You're very valuable. You are honest, solid, stable, committed. You're a real one. You deserve a real one in return. And I feel like there is a real one on its way to you. And you're going to be able to recognize this energy when it comes in because of all the work that you have done on yourself. Zombie, control. Mummy, change. Both of these came out in my live reading today as well. So some of you might want to check out my um, Earth Angel live reading. It's the one that is named... Oh, I don't remember what I named it. Desire and Fulfillment. It has something to do with desire and fulfillment. There's a lot of changes coming in for you. And these changes are going to be very good changes. There's going to be messages coming in or some sort of signs and synchronicities coming in. There's definitely going to be somebody reaching out to you that wants to let you know how valuable you are and wants to let you know that they love you exactly as you are. There could have been somebody in the past that was trying to control you in some sort of way. There could have been somebody that was trying to manipulate the situation. There could have been... Um, and this might even be the person as well. This person might have been afraid or intimidated. Or this person might have um, seen your worth and value but did not see their own in the past. And so there's going to be a massive change coming through that is going to allow everybody to see how valuable they are. You're not able to be controlled by anybody anymore because you know your value and your worth. So you are stepping out of that energy of being controlled or manipulated or used or abused by anyone. And that is also what's bringing in a lot of good energy for you. New moon in Gemini. Think it through. First quarter moon in Capricorn, unleash your kindest self. So you could have been in an energy yourself of trying to control a situation or trying to push things in the direction you wanted it to go and not being able to let go or just allow things to flow naturally. Um, and I feel like a lot of what's been going on 
has been happening so that you could really learn how to sit back and be patient with things unfolding the way that they're meant to. And also so that you can see what energies around you are two-faced or what energies around you are not good for you. There is definitely, um, you're going to be feeling like this person is your other half. Although you are whole on your own. And that's the thing is understanding and realizing that you are whole on your own is something that's going to bring this together much better too. Unleash your kindest self. Unleash that supporting, caring, nurturing, loving, committed, loyal soul. That one that maybe you have held back from people for a little while now. You might have held back a lot of your care, a lot of your concern, a lot of your love, a lot of the value you have to offer and give to the world around you because of the people who have used, abused, or hurt you in the past. And now is the time to let go of the past so that you can really step into your full self and show who you truly are. That is pretty much a lot of what your ancestors are wanting to let you know. They're wanting to let you know that there is a transformation going on within you right now in the world around you as well. Sometimes a frog can turn into a prince and sometimes a frog can turn into a princess. And sometimes we can act like a frog ourselves when we're carrying around the weight of the past. So right now, the changes and transformations that you're going through in your life are allowing you to sacrifice and let go of the pain, hurt, and hardship of the past so that you can accept in the good things that you deserve for the work, time, effort, and energy that you've put into things, the care, the love, the ability to be able to look at things from every perspective, and also for understanding and realizing what it is that you want to focus your time, energy, and attention on. And when you are focusing it on the things that mean the most to you, that's what you're going to pull into your sphere. So focus it on cultivating your own love, light, beauty, and amazingness in your world around you and within you. And that's going to attract in a lot more of that to you as well. So that's pretty much what I got for this pile. I really hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I would love to hear what you guys had to say about it, whether or not it resonated, what you might have going on, all that kind of good stuff. And thank you as well to anybody and everybody who supports me in whatever way you do on this channel, whether that be liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing on this channel or my other one, or making purchases or donations. You can find my Cash App, PayPal, and Amazon wish list, as well as my... Um, email and my Skype account in the description box below if you'd like to do any of that. I really appreciate you guys for that. Thank you so much. And I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys. Pile three. For you guys, let's see what your ancestors have to say to you at this time or want you to know about at this time. I feel like for a lot of you, this could be a passed on loved one or this could be a friend that has passed on. Um... Or even a very close relative that has passed on. Somebody that was like a friend, even if they were a relative. Empath mirrors. When you're a mirror for others to see, sometimes it's not so very easy. Others can't always deal with looking inside. The darkness there that does reside. So they lash out at you as if it's your fault for finding what they have inside of a vault. Don't take it personally when others flee. Find a way to set yourself free. Intimidation is also there. I know at times it doesn't seem fair. Try to know who you are. Don't take their judgments too far. Release yourself from their pain. Holding on to it can't be a gain. 22321. The Shamer's Daughter is a great movie, and it's actually on Netflix as well, although it's in a different language, so you'll have to read the subtitles for it. Fucking amazing movie, though, especially if you deal with things like this. You could be going through a lot of self-esteem issues or a lot of self-worth issues, a uh, very hard time trying to value yourself, love yourself, and see yourself in a high light because of the way that others may react to who you are or what you do. Others could have a really hard time dealing with your gifts and what gifts you have to offer to the world. I was just talking about this in my live reading today. Uh, when it comes to, say, mind reading, telepathy, when it comes to mind reading, mind reading is one of those things that they attribute to psychopaths. So people are labeled as a psychopath because they have the ability to read minds and because they have, they have the ability to detach from emotions. 
you know what? When you're seeing what's inside everybody's mind around you every day, all day, that's got to be a really difficult thing to deal with. And especially if your emotions are constantly being triggered because of it. The ability to be able to detach from your emotions is actually a very good thing at times. But how many people are made uneasy by somebody that can read their mind? And then you're sitting there going, oh my God, they can hear everything that I'm thinking about, so I can't even think. It's really off-putting when somebody's around you that's like that. Just like it can be really off-putting when somebody can really see into your soul and understand who you are and then mirrors it back to you so they can see themselves. It's really off-putting when somebody can feel every emotion that you're feeling and is able to identify where it's coming from, what it is, why it's there. Sometimes those things are very off-putting. And that doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with you. That just means that sometimes people cannot be around that energy and it's okay. So don't hate yourself for who you are is basically the gist of this. We have the Knave of Swords, Page of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, and the Eight of Cups. So there may be some situations that you need to walk away from. Whether you have love attached to these situations or not, it may be a good time to walk away from certain situations. There is also a lot of things that you need to dive into and learn more about, especially when it comes to your own spiritual gifts and what you have to offer the world. There's definitely a need here to learn, study, um, enlarge your vision on certain things, maybe even to observe others and the way that they act or the way that they deal with situations could be something that helps you as well. You may have a lot of people that are observing you too and that really are listening to the messages that you have to bring. There's a lot of people who really value you and value very highly what you have to offer to the table, but you may not be seeing it because of the few who flee from you. So don't focus so much on the people who flee from you. Focus on the ones who are actually there to accept you and love you as you are. Ghost and regret. Dawn, the light after darkness. So there could actually be somebody who regrets something that they did in their life dealing with you. There could be something that somebody maybe has said to you. Maybe one of these people that's reaching out to you has said something to you that maybe they regret because they don't feel like it's the full truth. They may feel like something else is the truth now that they can see things from the other side. There might actually be a different way that they're looking at things now. Also, they don't want you to regret anything you have said to them. If you are regretting anything that you have said to them and you're feeling like they're gone now and I can't even say anything to make up for it, yes, you can. They're right there next to you. Say what you need to say. Express what you need to express. Feel how you need to feel. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you still have things that you need to live in your life in the moment right now. So it's time to take your power back, your energy back, and to focus on what's going on in front of you. After the darkness and despair and pain, there is always light that returns to you. Some of you might have chosen pile one as well. It had a lot to do with the sun coming back out tomorrow after the hurt and the pain and the dark void. So some of you could have actually been feeling a lot of sadness, loss, pain, hurt, despair over this person being called to the other side, over it being this person's time. Know that this person's time had to come when it did for a reason and that everything is happening the way that it is meant to happen. And that if you choose to leave this behind and you choose to move forward, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Full moon in Aries, cool your emotions. First quarter moon in Aquarius, trust the universe, trust the universe, open your mind, allow judgment to fall away and be okay with the way things are and the way that things are unfolding currently. There is definitely a need to leave behind any of your anger, any of your hate, any of your um, regrets. Any of this fighter energy, you might be feeling like you want to fight with people, you want to argue with people, you want to get your two cents in. You might be wanting to jump on people's cases for walking away from you or for not being there when you needed somebody, but now is not the time to focus on that. Now is the time to step into bravery, step into courage, to close the doors on the past and to know that there's a lot of good things in the future for you if you can take those steps forward. There could even be somebody who has been ghosting you or breadcrumbing you or has not been there 
in the way that they said they were going to be there in. And this person may have a really hard time being around you right now because of the spiritual gifts that you do have and because you can see through them so easily. So allow forgiveness, compassion, and understanding to fill you up and try your hardest to take the high road going forward. And that's pretty much what I got for this pile. I really hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I would love to hear what you guys had to say about it, whether or not it resonated, all those kinds of good things. If you guys want to be able to find this poem again, you can find a link for Dee's Storytime in my description box below. And thank you to anybody and everybody who supports my channels in whatever way you do through liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, donating, leaving timestamps, um, hitting the super thanks button purchasing services. And if you want to be able to find the information for all of those things, my PayPal, Amazon wish list, Cash App, my email, my Skype, and the link for D Storytime, all of that stuff is in the description box below. Truly appreciate all of you for that. Thank you so much. And I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys.